Hi everyone, it's Mari Carr from San Diego, California. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a tour of my beautiful hometown, America's finest city. I'm gonna be letting you know places where you can stay, eat and things that you can do. And it's based on things that us locals love doing. Because San Diego is comprised of so many different little neighborhoods, we're gonna be focusing in on one of the most popular neighborhoods and that is Pacific Beach, AKA PB. Note that in this travel guide, I'm not necessarily gonna be saying obvious things like if you're going to Pacific Beach, go to the beach. It's more so recommendations that you really wouldn't be finding if you were looking it up online. PB is known for the area where so many young people like to gravitate towards. It's where all the surfers go, where all the yogis go. You'll see people walking their dogs, as well as people even biking around on the boardwalk. What it's slowly evolving into is an area of affluence with more of a laid back vibe. Because right up north, above Pacific Beach, is the well-known wealthy community called La Jolla. If you're looking to stay in PB, booking a stay at Tower 23. This specific hotel is right next to the ocean. You have unobstructed views. And it's right off of the road where all the main eateries, restaurants, and things to do are. What I really enjoy about Tower 23 is it is a newer boutique hotel. A lot of the hotels in the surrounding area are just a little bit outdated <laughs> and it's nice having a modern feel. During my stay at this hotel, I booked one of the standard two bedrooms, but then I couldn't help myself from upgrading <laughs> to the ocean view rooms. That was completely worth it because we truly were spoiled with the sunset views when the sun would be setting right over the Pacific Ocean. We would even crack our door open just a little throughout the day so we can be hearing the waves crashing on the shore. That is how close to the ocean you are. Do note that there is no pool or jacuzzi here because you do have the ocean just a couple steps away. One of the perks about Tower 23 is its two minute walk location from the historic Crystal Pier. This pier is in so many iconic photos of Pacific Beach. And when you walk over to Crystal Pier, you're gonna see a little archway entrance as well as a gate. And that gate is specifically for those who are staying in the over the water bungalows on the pier. Do you know that is also open to the public during specific hours? All you need to do is walk up to the gate and then the front desk person will see you and naturally just buzz you in. One of my favorite things to do on the pier is actually just watch the surfers and there are a lot of people fishing on the pier as well. After a day at the beach or relaxing at your hotel, a local favorite eatery for lunch as well as dinner is Powerhouse Pizza. The owner understands that everybody has their own set of dietary restrictions and wanted to be able to cater to everybody's needs. So at this pizza spot, you can actually customize your pizzas to be dairy-free, they can be vegan, they can even be gluten-free. Another popular thing to do at this location is bring your pizza outside at the wall that they created. This is a pro tip. If you cannot find any parking on that main street, there is parking in the back specifically for patrons of the restaurant. The next tip, and probably the most popular tip of locals right now, is going to Kate Sessions Park and bringing your meal over there. Kate Sessions has quickly become San Diego's favorite park. A few reasons being is, one, there is so much room for activities. Since San Diego is a huge dog community in general, you can see dogs saying hi to you during your meal or playing with the other dogs in the area, and you can even dog watch as well. The second reason being that the park has a beautiful view of the Mission Bay area, of the Pacific Beach area, of the Ocean Beach, Point Loma, and even in the distance, downtown. It's common that you'll find people eating there after work and just taking in the view. And if you have portable Wi-Fi, you'll even see remote workers working from the park itself. If you are inspired to explore your own city and are even putting San Diego on your bucket list, feel free to subscribe to us down below. With Digital Nest, we release content on both YouTube as well as Instagram. We can't wait to see you in the next video. I'm Mari Carvelasco and we live in interesting times.
We hope you enjoyed that video. If you found it valuable, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you're on Instagram, please follow us at EBC Digital Nest. If you're on Facebook, please pay our page a visit and like it. Here at Digital Nest, we continue to make healthy connections with those who desire to grow and with those who aspire to be inspired. We'll see you next time.